Hey guys, it's Carrie from Salesflare. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your email, your calendar, what this does, and what else you can integrate your Salesflare with. Let's get started. So first, email. To connect your email, go to settings, email settings, and here you can connect and disconnect as many emails as you'd like. Now what does connect your email do? First, Salesforce automatically pulls in contacts based on who you're emailing with and all this useful information about them. Second, it suggests contacts for you based on the email domain. Third, when you sync your email, it pulls all your com email conversations into your account timeline like it does here. If you have Gmail or Outlook, you can go a step further by downloading the email plugin. Just go to settings, applications and integrations and download the right one. Now, the email plugins are not needed to pull in your emails, but they do offer you extra handy functionality as I will show you now. With the plugin, you have Salesforce presence side by side with your email. Here you can do the same as on the web version with tasks, accounts, contacts, opportunities, and insights. Also, if you're emailing with someone you've linked to an account, the account information shows up here, as well as your timeline, tasks, files, and social. But also, if you're emailing with someone who you haven't linked to an account yet, you can create an account right here from your email. Second, with the plugin, you have email open and click tracking. These show up in your account timelines. So for example, I've been emailing with Peter. His blue eye shows how many times he's opened my email and when he last did. And also, when people click, you can even see that they're visiting your website if you install the web tra website tracking script as well. You can do this by going to settings, applications and integrations, and you'll find the website tracking script right here. Next, I'll show you how to connect your calendar. Just go to settings, calendar settings, and here again, you can connect and disconnect as many calendars as you like. Now, what does this do? One, it pulls in past meetings you've had with contacts into the account timelines. Two, it shows future meetings in the today and upcoming task lists. And three, it also suggests contacts for you based on who you've already had meetings with. Next, let me show you our mobile apps. We have both iOS and Android. The apps bring the full functionality of Salesforce to your phone, and they also send you notifications. For iOS, if you use the phone icon or click on a phone number in the Salesforce app, it'll automatically log calls for you in your account timeline. And Android even goes a step further by syncing your call history. So even if you make a phone call from outside of the app, it'll still show up in your account timelines. Next, we have integration with two platforms that allow for easy integration with many other apps. These are both Zapier and PySync. Zapier allows you to create easy flows or zaps between Salesforce and over 700 other apps like Google Contacts, MailChimp, Typeform, accounting software, and the list goes on. We have a beta version that you can ask access here in settings, applications, and integrations. And I've also put a link in the description with a how-to guide full of useful apps that you can integrate with Salesforce. With PySync, you can sync contacts two-way and live with over 50 different applications, also like Google Contacts, MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, and many others. You can use PySync with Salesforce and your address book. So every time you update a contact in your address book, it will show up in Salesforce, and every time you add a contact in Salesforce, it will show up in your address book. I've listed a how-to guide for setting this up in the description as well. Like I mentioned earlier, website tracking shows who of your customers are on your website if they ever clicked a link from an email you sent them. The email tracking links are for inserting Salesforce link tracking in email campaigns. It's the same tracking as the email plugins, but you can insert it in personal emails. If you click here on Show Guide, it explains how you can insert this link tracking in MailChimp and other email campaign software. 
It will show in Salesforce when people click on the links and also when they visit your website if you've installed the website tracking script. So that's about everything for our apps and integrations. As always, if you still have questions, you can hit me up here on the chat.